morning everyone I'm coming to you today with a little happy mail but first I wanted to tell you about baby Madison look at her how pretty she is today she's got on her little walking shoes that have the moon and stars and Auntie Kim uh oh she dropped her little Look here what she dropped her little chick. She, she's she been holding on to it here. She loves her chicky chick chick. And then in this hand, she's holding on to a pacifier. She likes to have things in her hands. Always has and still does. Even when she was a little baby, holding on to her blankie. <laughs> oh, Madison, you're so sweet. And she's got her little hair and a top curl here. Pretty little beautiful headband that her Auntie Asha made her with some bling. I love that. It ties in the back. Then this precious little outfit here that has the little onesie underneath and the little ruffles. Um, I got that at Once Upon a Child. It's Janie and Jack. It is so cute. But it's a little coolier this morning. So I put this little next sweater on her that has little bunny rabbits and little flowers all over it. It's just a little lightweight sweater with pretty detailing with a little ruffling around the edges and around the sleeves. She's got on a little pearl and pink bracelet and the pacifier is this one with the little pink bow, but she has spit it out and decided that she would rather hold it. <laughs> She's sort of in the dark here. She need. Uh, I'm still working on getting a lamp. I can't decide what kind of lamp I want. I can't use this red one all the time because I've got so many red lamps in here that when you turn the camera on it makes things look red, but um, we'll find one that's just right. And here's our Digibird. Yeah. Digibird's quiet this morning. You're quiet, Digibird. You're very quiet this morning. And so cute. Better watch him. may start just... Oh, no wonder I got him turned off. Sorry, I forgot to turn him on before we started. There we go. Oh, he sounds just exactly like what I'm listening to out the window. Oh, yes, darling. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Digibird. Yes. Oh, yes, I know Madison does get a hold of you quite tightly, doesn't she? She doesn't mean to hurt you, sweetheart. I'll try to watch closer. She's just trying to love you. Can you understand that? Okay. I know it hurts a little bit. But I promise I will, I will watch closer. I understand that you can't lose your feathers because it can interfere with your balance and your flying. So I promise I'll watch her closer. Will that work, Mr. Digibird? Okay, I'm glad you think it sounds like a good idea. Well, let me go ahead and visit with my friends. Okay. I understand. I understand. All right. Now, I'm going to visit with my friends here for a little bit, Mr. Digibird. Uh, Mr. Digibird, time out. I need to uh, show some happy mail I got from Robin, RSR65. Will you just go ahead and talk, and I'm just going to go ahead and open my package. Oh, Mr. Digibird, you are a trip. Okay, let's see what we got from RSR65. Robin Lopez, our good friend. Oh, she told me about this. I love pretty um, tablecloths. And I was looking for uh, a vintage tablecloth. And she just knew that I wanted a tablecloth. So she went somewhere and they had these marked way down. And she knew red was my favorite color. So she grabbed it for me. Look at that. Look at those snowflakes. Aren't they pretty? Will that not be pretty on my table at Christmas or... Shoot, I might use this for a lot of different things, Robin. I could use it for a backdrop on the table. 
lots of different ways. I love it. It's real soft satin and it's folded. It's a large tablecloth and I'm very proud of it. And it's a beautiful color of red. Mr. Digibird, you're interrupting. Sorry guys, Digibird is just going on and on about Madison holding too tight, holding her too tight. And Madison doesn't mean to, Mr. Digibird, or Miss Digibird. I think you're a Miss Digibird. Okay, okay, we got it. We got it, okay? We have got it, loud and clear. Okay, yes. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. And this was a surprise. I didn't know about this, Robin. Oh, it's beautiful. Thick. I, I've never seen one so nice and thick and thick. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. It's done so well, and look at that. I always wonder who made these beautiful doilies. Look at that. It's thick and done so well, and oh, it's just beautiful. Look at the pattern. When I say thick, I just mean that the thread is tight and woven tight, and it's a heavier fabric, so it looks like it's real durable and such but it looks so delicate at the same time isn't that a beautiful pattern that can go on my table wouldn't that be pretty on top of the red tablecloth like around christmas time it look like a snow i think i'll do that for christmas robin put the red tablecloth in this but in the meantime i will be using this pretty thing somewhere i'll find it uh, somewhere for it today okay mr digibird I hope he's not bothering y'all. Or she haven't decided. You know that we love you. And anything that Madison did accidentally was just not on purpose. But we'll be more careful. And I think you survived, did you, Bert? I think you're doing just fine. Oh, good. Maybe she's going to be quiet now. There we go, darling. There we go. You're such a precious little birdie. And we love you so much, we'd never do anything to hurt, did you, birdie? So there we are. See, you're getting to lay here by Madison. And how sweet that is. Oh, uh, thank you for being quiet, did you, bird? So that was some nice Happy Meal. So thrilled about it. Robin, thank you so much for thinking of me and taking time to mail this to me I love it absolutely love it. it's beautiful both both items are absolutely gorgeous can't wait to use this one today I'm gonna put it somewhere in this house love it love it love it I could put it over here but there's your package I've got my little fan here as you can see and my red lamp a card my Bible <laughs> I laid this new bar of soap that I got it's um lavender it's made uh, it's homemade and I, I ordered it from somewhere from somebody that does that and I laid it there and that fan pulls the odor of that little bar of soap through and smells so nice it smells absolutely wonderful it makes the whole room smell like a calendar's going a, a, a candle although I've, I've got my um, what Asha gave me that I put my drops of scented oil in I've got it going, my husband got, keeps it going 24-7. And it's, oh, I think that Digi Bird is pouting. Are you pouting? Was that a little pouting sound that I heard, darling? Are you pouting? I heard a little sound that I didn't think sounded too good. Don't pout, darling. You're okay, and we're going to take care of it. Yes, we are. So anyway, I keep that going all the time, and it makes everything smell good. My husband's had it on since she gave it to us. And I told him the other day that you need to let it, you know, unplug it and let it stay off for a little while. So he did. But he enjoys it as much as I do. And this morning I was feeling real nauseated, and I got that bottle of peppermint. And I just, you know, waved it back and forth under my nose. And do you know it really helped with the nausea? It's amazing. Uh, she's, 
I was just teaching me about these essential oils, and I've been doing some reading and research. You know, I love to read and research. If there's any topic that that I can read or research, that's when I'm the happiest. And I love to learn things. I try to learn something new every day. And I usually learn a lot more than one thing because I am constantly doing research. I might have five tabs open and I might be researching anything from ancient history to current events, medical, uh, just all sorts of things. And then I travel on the internet to go back to places that I've seen in the past. I really enjoy that. You can really, you can really see some pretty things and feel like you've been somewhere when you're traveling on the internet. So, yeah, that's Madison and Mr. Digibird. I think it's a mister. We're going to call him mister. Is being really quiet now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Linda got moved. She did. She got moved, and she is the... Oh, how sweet. Did y'all hear that? That was a sweet sound, Digibird. She um, was so excited that morning. She just couldn't wait. She got up early and she had all her stuff ready. And then yesterday, Hubby got her a uh, refrigerator, dorm size refrigerator to put in her room because she likes to have a Coke float every other night. And that's very important to her. So we wanted her to have a freezer where she can have drinks and things, whatever she wants, water. Um, so got the fridge in, got her a chair. It's in there, real pretty Queen Anne chair. She thinks it's very comfortable. Got her bed moved in and made up nicely. Um, got her a little three drawer chest. That with the closet and the chest that was in there. She's just doing real good. And she was helping my husband put up her stuff and then suddenly she disappeared. She'd gone to get her nails done. And the first day she said they did, um, they had music and they had two different games and exercise. So they're keeping her hopping. I mean, they. They really do have a lot of activities, and I I just, I, I love that, and I hope it continues. Her roommate is a really nice lady that I grew up with. Of course, I live in a small town, so you know how it is. You know everybody. But she is a very precious lady that I went to school with her children, and she is a wonderful little lady. And that's who her roommate is. You couldn't ask for a nicer one. She's very, very quiet. Matter of fact, I don't really know what's wrong with her, but we're just happy that she's our roommate. And um, Linda's just on cloud nine, living the good life. She told Ski that it was a lot better than the center. She said there's she likes it a lot better. So I guess, but she'll be running the place before too long. That's how she is. She she catches on pretty quick, and and uh, she's forgetting some things, but. I noticed that, that, that she used to know how to do, but but she's not that bad now. You might not notice it unless you were around her all the time like I was. But um, bless her little heart. She's doing real good. She's doing absolutely wonderful. And we'll, I don't think she wanted to come home this weekend because she wanted to do the weekend activities since it's the first week. They have a lot of activities. And so she'll probably come home next weekend and we'll do a video with her and let her tell you all about it in her own words so there's my little Madison as precious as she can be and there's Digibird being quiet now because I've convinced Digibird that Madison won't hurt him anymore and I did my nails last night I did um Pink. Let me get over here where the light's not so, um, you know, pink. There's another red lamp everywhere I look. Anyway, I did pink, and then I just did the silver tips, which I think is kind of pretty for a change. It looks prettier in real life than it does here. But that's my sweet girl, and I'm going to have to go for now because I'm almost at 15 minutes in this phone for some reason will um if it's over 15 minutes it, it uh trims it so we're supposed to get some rain a little later it's a great weekend thank you robin for the wonderful gifts i really do appreciate it and for all of us here in west texas god bless and have a good weekend and remember things are not always as they seem
Bye-bye.